They set up this mission for us to come out and play for the people of Kumamoto in this uh, public square. And so they played a little, we played a little bit, and then we, we played some together in a cross-cultural uh, exchange. And I think entertained the audience. We, we got together and met them the, the second day we were here. And we, we picked up a, a song that we wanted to do, the, uh, the Stevie Wonder song. And then we, we got together, we rehearsed it two or three times yesterday before our first mission. We just said, hey, you guys wanna play? And they said yes, and so, so we did. The great thing about music, and you saw in a situation like this, is it's an international language. So even though I don't speak any Japanese, and they speak a little bit of English, we were still able to communicate. And it's, it's an instant, uh, instant bridge, instant connection. So it's, it's a real treat for us to come out and, and share that with them both with the audience and with the other, the Japanese band. It's quite an honor. It's an amazing thing, I think, to be in the military, which tends to be very structured and rigid, and to bring something that is much more creative and fluid. American audiences, I think, can be a little more boisterous. But, but we could tell, looking at the audience, they were having a good time, they were engaged, they were clapping. So even if they weren't jumping up and down, I could tell they were really listening and really enjoying it, which is great. So, and that, that energizes us and it makes we, us play better because there's a, a, a give and take from the audience that you always get when you're on stage. It's, it's been awesome. They're, they're great players, they're, they're great hosts. I mean, they've, they've really saved us. We would just be flailing on the wind if they weren't here taking care of us.